present Highly Strung Hannah by Robert Chandler. This week, The Bad Samaritan. Now, Hannah, why do you want to be a Samaritan? Well, I'm a good listener and a steady presence. You nearly had a panic attack because you couldn't work the intercom. (laughs) Well, obviously, things stress me out sometimes, but they do the callers too. And it takes one to know one. If someone was on the phone saying they were going to kill themselves... Well, I wouldn't say do it, would I? (laughs) I hope not. But I didn't ask you what you wouldn't say, did I? I asked you what you would say. Well... It depends on the situation. True. But my mum always says there's always someone worse off than yourself. (laughs) And that's what someone wants to hear when it feels like the end of their world, is it? Yep. (laughs) (laughs) Well, it helps me. Uh And what about a caller whose lifestyle choices don't agree with you? Well, I won't hold it against them if they're like the Jeremy Kyle show. (laughs) I mean as a homosexual or a transsexual, for instance. Did you? That's interesting. <laughs> <laughs> and you're a good listener, are you? Um, oh, yes. Well, then, do you approve of homosexuals? Well, it does nothing for me. But live and let live. I have gay friends. Who cares? Right. And you realise that you will, as with all our volunteers, have to undergo a training programme and pass in order to become a Samaritan, if you pass the interview. How would you say it's going at the moment? Really good. Perception, (laughs) oh dear. Now, the training is with a qualified counsellor who is also Samaritan trained, and it does cost the service. But if we think someone is suitable, or would be with a little training, it's a good investment. But in return, you have to commit to a four-hour shift once a week and one night shift a month from 9 p.m. to 6 a.m. You have to agree to participate in ongoing training and supervision as well, and you have to undergo a criminal records check and supply satisfactory references. Well, I'm hardly going to supply unsatisfactory ones, am I? (laughs) We contact the people you name for a reference. You don't physically supply them. Uh... So, what sort of thing would you be looking for? Just generally in a volunteer. (laughs) Well, calmness in a crisis, level headedness, reliability, discretion, tactfulness, and a sound mental state. (laughs) Oh, well, one out of six isn't bad. (laughs) Just a joke. Not, Not that I have insight. I mean, I do, obviously, which is... How I can relate to other people so well. Thank you, Hannah. Well, it's been a most enlightening chat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's a spider! Oh, my God! <laughs> so I'm guessing the one out of six wasn't calmness in a crisis. <laughs> <laughs> I said I was joking. Oh, where's the spider? I can't see it now. Well, I won't leave you to face the spider alone. Take my hand, and I'll personally escort you from the building. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, thank you. Oh, so you'll be in touch then? Yes, you should receive a letter within a few days. Our recruitment process is very rigorous, though, so don't be too disappointed if you are rejected. Oh, thanks. Very supportive. Stop pacing, Hannah. The letter will come when it comes. Every day you've been like this. Trust us both to be off on the same week when you're like a cat on hot bricks. We should be going out. Post doesn't come till ten, and we should have been on the road by then. 
I still think you shouldn't have applied, you know. You can't handle rejection. If they rejected me and I killed myself, they'd be sorry then. Well, that old cow Dharma would. <laughs> I just because I was scared of a spider and I wasn't all serious. I mean, is she a counsellor or just a bitch? <laughs> Wait for the letter before you slag her off. Dear Miss Spencer, I am so sorry to... They don't want me! They don't want me! Oh dear, oh come here darling, come on, give us a cuddle. That bitch doesn't want me! <laughs> well maybe it's for the best. Would you really want to work with a bitch like her? I wouldn't be working with her all the time. I expect she does different shift. Well, never mind. You'll always be my Samaritan. Oh, I'm practically a trained counsellor. Yes, listening to the Anna Rayburn show doesn't count. <laughs> I read the Agnion columns. Yes, but come on, that doesn't equal a counselling degree. Well, if I needed a counselling degree, they should have made it clear. I bet Thelma bitch face hasn't got one. <laughs> I'll Google her and find out when I see her again. Well, come on, look, dry your eyes and blow your nose. What do I do? Not much. Just think of it as their loss. If they don't want you, that's their problem. I have to prove that I am suitable. I'll show them. A public demonstration of how good I am when someone's feeling suicidal. Well, unfortunately, about the only thing you can't buy in Tesco's is a suicidal individual. <laughs> <laughs> It'll only be a matter of time. <laughs> you see, you made a joke. You see, it isn't the end of the world. No one even need know. I told Karen I'd applied, and you, and Josh, and Maddie. God! You told God? Blimey. <laughs> <laughs> of course. I didn't. Well, yes, I suppose I did. I prayed that I'd get it. Fat lot of good that did me. That's the last time I go to church. Well, I'm not pretending to be suicidal. When you've talked me round and I've been carried off to the mental hospital, it might just affect my career as a scientist. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't go to ask you, duh. People know you. No. I have to find someone with nothing to lose. Someone who wouldn't mind a stint in the mental hospital. And someone who doesn't mind heights. Why? Well, they need to sit on the edge of a tall building so I can sit next to them and talk them out of jumping. <laughs> Why do I get a horrible feeling this is all going to go wrong? <laughs> because you're a pessimist. I know. A homeless person. Oh, yes, of course. I'll just get my Rolodex out. <laughs> all right, all right, no need to be funny. I know, I don't know any. Yet. Um, I'll go and find one. And say what? Well, I don't know. I'll give me something to think about on the train journey up to London. And the incentive for them would be? A nice stay in a warm room with an ensuite, 24-7 care and some money. Not bad. Mind you, not all homeless people want to be off the streets. They have their pride. Well then, I'll have to pick one that doesn't, won't I? <laughs> Is there any chance you might reconsider? No, darling. I've made up my mind. I'll show that cow bit Thelma, bitch face, that I am kind, caring person. <laughs> and then I'll take a rejection letter and stuff it down her throat. <laughs> So it's safe to assume, then, that you plan to use the rest of the day to find your stooge? Yes! It'll make me feel better. Come on, we're going to London. All right, but when it comes to trawling the streets for dossers, you're on your own. I'll be going shopping. Right, I'll meet you back here at five o'clock, OK? Outside, top shop, 5pm. Got that? Yes! I'm not an eight-year-old on a school trip, you know. <laughs> Why don't you just put on our lead? No, that's Saturday. <laughs> <coughs> I'm not in the mood for jokes. This is serious. You go and enjoy yourself. I'm going to hunt for the homeless. Hello, my name's Hannah. Great. Have a medal. Now shovel. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Charming. Got money? Uh, yeah. Gonna give me some. That depends. On what? I thought you wanted me to shove off. Yeah, I want your money. Then you can shove off. I've got a job offer for you. I don't need a job. Why do you think I need a job? Because you're sitting in a doorway at one in the afternoon and I don't think you're on your lunch break. <laughs> I'm hardly. Not dressed like that. Do you usually wear a sleeping bag to work? <laughs> Look, if you want to say something, just say it. You're starting to get on my tits. Okay. Oh, I need you to come to Shepparton, climb up on the roof of a restaurant at the end of the high street and shout loudly that you've had enough and you're going to jump. Why? So I can rush forward and shout, I'll save him! And I'll come up to the roof, sit with you for a while and pretend to talk you down. And the nice men from the local mental hospital will take you away for a few days get you cleaned up and comfortable and then you can go back to your doorway. <laughs> oh yeah, use me why don't you? I want to. I know I'm using you. That's why I'll pay you. I don't want it for free. How do I know this ain't a wind up? I'll trust you and pay you up front, cash. Oh, when? Tomorrow. How do I get to Shepparton? Get a train from Waterloo. It's at the end of the line so you can't miss it. You buying the ticket? Well. I give you the money and you can buy it. It's not difficult. How much? Um, a hundred. Make it two hundred. Well, I've only got one hundred on me. Hannah? Oh, Tim, meet! You never asked my name. Sorry, what is your name? Steve. Oh, Steve. Steve said he'll do it for me. He's coming to Shepparton. He'll sit on the roof of Rumbles, get attention, and wait for me to come up and save him. How do you know? You don't know him. How can you trust him? No offence, Steve. Huh. None taken. I wouldn't trust her if she hadn't offered cash in advance. <laughs> <laughs> I offered him a hundred and he wants two hundred. Well, you'd better go to the cash point then. Oh no. I don't like using cash points. Have you got a hundred on you? Uh, no. All right then. I'll take your hundred. But if I get to Shepparton tomorrow and you don't give me the rest, I'm taking the train straight back to London. OK, get the two minutes past ten train from Platform 1. It'll get you to Shepparton at 5 to 11 and I'll be waiting for you. I'll give you the other hundred and then we can't be seen together after that. I'll be watching though and when you've got enough tension I'll come up along as if by chance and do my stuff. Oh, <laughs> why? Oh, please don't go there. I was rejected by the Samaritans. Oh great, so a Samaritans reject is supposed to talk me out of jumping off a roof. <laughs> Five minutes on a roof with my wife and you probably will. <laughs> Tim! I must be mad. Sitting quietly in my doorway, all of a sudden a crazy woman comes along and drags me into this. Thank you. I really appreciate this. See you at Shepparton Station tomorrow at 5 to 11, OK? Hannah, you're mad. How else can I do it? I can't ask Josh, or you, or my colleagues. You could just take the letter and chuck it away and forget about it. So what if the Samaritans don't want you? Why did you want to be a Samaritan anyway? There was this programme about them on TV. It looked interesting. And I thought, if I'm, make, if I'm talking to all these suicidal people, my problems won't seem so bad. <laughs> <laughs> not the best motivation, is it, darling? Well, suppose not. Anyway, I don't want to put a spanner in the works, especially as you've paid him £100. But how are you going to climb high enough to get onto the roof? You hyperventilate on a kickstool. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, I hadn't thought of that. Oh, great. Thanks. Thanks a lot. Well, it's better you find out now than tomorrow. I'll get over it. I'll get you to come up behind me. I'm not good with heights either. Well, you'll just have to be. If I don't look down, I'll be all right. Well, I might come along and watch from a distance, just for a laugh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, great, thanks. For moral support. Mm. <laughs>
Please do not leave cases or parcels unattended anywhere on the station. Any unattended articles are likely to be removed without warning. Yes, how will we recognise him as hundreds of tramps come off the train? <laughs> All right, Mr Sarkipus. Well, I bet he'll not be coming. He gave a hundred pounds to a complete stranger you've never met in your life after a five-minute chat, and you expect him to play along with your crazy scheme. Gordon Bennett, I bet he saw you coming. <laughs> Told you. He must be on the train. He must have fallen asleep on the train. I'll have a look. No, it might go out with you still on it. No, it won't. It doesn't go out till ten past. Okay. Tim! What? Where are you? I'm on the train. Ah, oh, where have I heard that before? Look, up here. Oh, found him. Yes, asleep. It smells drunk to me. Oh, great. So that's where your hundred pounds went. At least he didn't take my money and run. No, he's slightly more stupid. I mean, honourable, than I thought. <laughs> Wake up! Steve! What? Who are you? Hannah! How could you forget her? <laughs> her? Her? I'm not the cat's grandma, you know. Oh, yeah, that's right. That's why I'm here. It's a crazy woman. What am I doing for you? would have been better. I'll be all right. Right, where's the building? There! Good spot, on the corner. There'll be a ladder at the back for you to climb up. Then you start shouting, here's the rest of the money. Oh, great. Get us a coffee on the way. Um, what? We have to go to a coffee shop together? Look, love, you can just give me the money. Or buy me one and I'll wait outside. It's nice to be wanted. I'll go in and get you one. Darling, you haven't told him where we live, have you? Of course not. I'm not that stupid. Just I don't want him turning up for a bath. <laughs> recognise you outside the police car. <laughs> I don't sleepwalk in the nude that often. <laughs> Are you trained to talk to someone who's suicidal? We don't want to make things worse. He might be mentally unstable. Well, so am I. You know what they say. Yes, one nutter on the roof is better than two. <laughs> <laughs> no, it takes one to know one. All right. We are not responsible for you or him. Is that understood? Well, don't worry. There's a nice, big, thick air mattress to land on. Just in case he jumps or falls off, he's a bit drunk. How do you know? Uh, well, you can tell. A mile off. I've got a teenage son. All right. Oh, hello, Inspector. Mr Spencer! <laughs> Tim, can you hold the ladder? <laughs> Funny, isn't it, how there's always a ladder lying around when you need one? <laughs> <laughs> Great. Just one thing, darling. Remember, 
You are scared of heights, aren't you? Oh my god, I forgot! You and your big mouth! Oh, you can do it. How much do you want to rub Thelma's nose in it? So, so much! <laughs> well, no. oh, I can't sit on a ledge. I'll fall off. I really didn't think this through. It's good if you're shaking a bit. You'll look more convincing. <laughs> I don't look like I'm sitting on a vibrating cushion. <laughs> but remember, there's a massive inflatable mattress underneath the building. You wouldn't miss that if you paraglided off the roof. No, good point. Fair point. OK. If I don't come back, I love you, darling, and Josh. Yes, I love you too, darling. Go on, do your stuff. OK. OK, I can do it. I can do it. Anna, look at that circus down there. I'm on TV. I'm on TV. I couldn't get more exposure if I stripped off. Don't do that. And I'd rather not look down. And watch what you say. They might be able to hear our conversation. Look, they look like ants down there, don't they? Three floors up. Do they? Oh, don't keep mentioning that, please. All oh, right. You don't like heights, then? No. Ah. Oh. Start shouting any time you like. In a minute. I just want to enjoy a bit more poetic justice. Come on. I can't go on! Why not? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, we, we all get to that point when there's so much bad stuff, we don't know what any one bit of bad stuff actually is, right? I want to jump! Don't try and stop me! OK, OK, just talk to me. I'm a good listener. Did you hear that, damn a bitch face, if you're watching TV? <laughs> I'm a good listener. Who's Thelma bitch face? <laughs> oh, just some horrible, nasty woman who rejected me. <laughs> oh, dear. Well, I've been rejected all my life. And then finally the wife rejected me and chucked me out. And that's that. It was all hers. Money. The house. The only, I only married the cow for her money. <laughs> I thought, I've, I've forgotten about that. Oh no, I'm a failure. I'm sorry, Anna, but I've got to jump. No, don't. Please, let me talk you down. I'll get you the help you need. It's all arranged. What? You can book your room in a nut house in advance now, can you? Can I have a single en suite for Thursday? I think I'm going to go psycho on Wednesday. <laughs> You're funny. You should be on TV. Whoops, you are. I didn't want to do this. I didn't think I'd want the fame. But I guess I do. All right, I won't jump. You saved my life. How can I ever thank you? <laughs> oh, look who it is. Over a cup of coffee. It's down a bitch face! <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Steve. Oh, oh, see, Farmer, see, in your face! <laughs> My wife's name is Thelma. She drove me nuts. A right busybody. Hang on. Blow me, it's her. It's my ex. Oh no. Steve, Steve, is that you? Thelma! Look what you've driven me to! Play along, she's rich. <laughs> he nearly killed himself because of you. He's been in a gutter because of you. How did you find me? Is this for my benefit? I just ended up here. Fell asleep on the train once and never looked back. Of course it wasn't for your benefit. Who do you think you are? And I saved his life and I don't care whether you're glad I did it or not. <laughs> 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 Who's a bad Samaritan now, eh? Who's a bad Samaritan now? <laughs> all right, I was wrong, all right? I was wrong. Steve, I'll take you back. I know it's been six months, but we can start over. Give me a chance. <laughs> if you want to train as a Samaritan, I'll do you a new letter. No! You didn't want me, your loss. 
So take your letter and shove it up your ass. She's <laughs> Sonny Hill Shaw, wife, isn't she, sir? Yep. I'll see you two next time she goes sleepwalking. Yes, she should sleep well tonight. The sleep of the just. Something in my bones tells me this was a setup, and it's all been a complete waste of police time. Uh, but I'll keep quiet. We've reunited a couple, and, and I was seen on TV, and I looked good. <laughs> Happy endings. Steve's will be when he gets her home. <laughs> Hannah. Come on, Thelma. Let's go and start again. Oh, Tim, everyone knows how good I am. I'll be in the papers. I'll be a hero. God knows how, but you seem to have got away with it. As long as Steve keeps quiet. Oh, I think he will. I said I'd give him another hundred just to keep him quiet. And I think he will. Come on, then. Get your wallet out. <laughs> In The Bad Samaritan, you heard Nanu Chumba as Hannah, Robert Chantler as Tim, Linda Grundy as Thelma, Mark Hover as Steve, and Max Grundy as the Inspector. Highly Strung Hannah was produced and directed by Robert Chantler, recorded by Martin Clark, and was a free theatre company production.